vlog. Today is Monday. I have been filming a little bit this morning. Mondays are normally big filming days for me, so I did a bunch of short form videos today. Also, okay, look at my makeup. If you're thinking it looks a little different, maybe you couldn't tell, I don't know. I tried something out of my comfort zone, very different than I normally do. I did some downturned eyeliner. It's subtle. I actually don't think it looks as different as I was expecting it to. But I did film a little short of that. I'll probably post it on like short. I'll probably post it on everything. You'll probably see that on shorts, reels, and TikTok. But it's a little bit different for me. I took the eyeliner this way instead of this way like I normally would. Which, I mean, my eyes are already slightly downturned. They're not like super exaggerated. But they, they do sit a little bit lower on this side than they do on the front. So I'm like, let me just lean into that. But I'm starting a week in my life. I feel like the last few vlogs I've done were more like a few days. We're gonna do a whole week this time. So it's Monday, we'll go through all of the days. There is a sponsor on this video. So thank you so much to Grande Cosmetics for partnering with me on today's video. I'm gonna go to their event later this week. So I will take you guys to that with me and I'll tell you a little bit more then. But today, like I said, was filming. I have a few more videos to get filmed. But then tonight I'm so excited because I'm seeing the new Britney Spears musical. I think today is like opening night of previews, not like of like the main opening, but it's the preview night. I bought tickets to previews just because it was a little bit cheaper and well, a lot cheaper actually. The show is called Once Upon a One More Time. It's a jukebox musical, meaning like there there's no original music in it. So actually all of the songs in it are Britney Spears songs. And growing up as a child in the late 90s, early 2000s, I have always been such a Britney Spears girl. I love her. So I'm like really excited about this show. Obviously, I won't be able to like vlog that, but I'll let you guys know how it is. But I'm going to get back to filming, edit some of those videos, and I will take you along with me tonight when we go to the show. Sleepy girl just got back from the vet. She is still on, uh, yeah, oh, so sleepy. She's still on some um, anxiety medication they put her on for her appointment, so she's extra cuddly. Okay, it's Wednesday, and I feel like I have so much to update you on. First of all, I'm testing these little things in my hair. I have been wearing these for a little bit. They're supposed to be volume clips. I mean, this is not anything new. I feel like these have been around for a while, but I am doing these for a video, so who knows future kelly let us know if these turn out cute actually i'll pop the photo up or the video up because i'm filming this for like instagram and reels and shorts so these have been sitting in my hair hopefully it looks cute i want to update you guys on the broadway show also on tilly and how her appointment went this morning and i just tried this for the first time this is the jones road tinted face powder i was really unsure about this because it's straight up pink and i do feel like pink powders have been getting kind of trendy, but this looks like so pink. A lot of them have a more subtle tint. This is really pink, but the pink is so much less noticeable on the skin. So I just got this card. This is like what they sent it with. They have these in so many shades, which first of all, I think is kind of cool because if you've been wanting to do the pink powder trend, but you have a deeper skin tone, they have a rose version, which I think would like if, if like the light one gives you too much of like flashback or even cast, I could see that one working really well. They also have like a yellow version, which I kind of want to try because I don't have a pink undertone, though I do feel like this looks fine. I don't think it looks like off and weirdly I kind of like it. Okay, anyway, so that's that. Wanted to share first thoughts because I literally just applied it, but the show. Oh, also I want to do, I have a very tiny Ulta order coming in. It's supposed to come in today and I wanted to do the haul today, but it's not here yet. So maybe we'll, we'll do that later in the week. But one of the products, so most of them I ordered for a video. Most things I buy are for a video, but there's one that I bought because it was the fragrance that Lauren May Beauty was wearing when we were in Charleston. And every time she would walk past me, it was intoxicating. The second I got home, I ordered it. So I am just like waiting for that to arrive, but let me tell you about the show. Okay, wait, I went to grab the playbill 
if anyone has a recommendation for where I like how I could store my playbills I I always save them but they're just like in a pile in my closet so once upon a one more time this like I said was a preview night and I believe now now I know it was the third preview I think so I saw it on a Monday and the first preview I think was a Saturday night I liked it but I liked it because I'm a Britney Spears stan and I grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s and was just obsessed with her. So it's all her music and I thought that element of it was so cool. There were definitely like some clunky parts to it that I feel like maybe haven't been worked out fully yet because like I said, it is the preview. It hasn't officially opened yet. So there were a ton of audio issues. Like the mics went out, I'm not kidding, like at least four times during the show. The the audio was like really off balance and it might have been my seat because I was in like the very back of the orchestra so maybe elsewhere in the theater it might have sounded a bit different but I could hear so much of the band but not so much of the vocals so it just was like really unbalanced it was fine though because it's Britney Spears I knew the words but that was another thing a lot of the words they do change like the songs were performed so differently than Britney Spears did them obviously and so they changed a lot of the lyrics to adapt it to the plot. Arrangement also sounded very different. Like a lot of these songs, they don't sound like pop, like Britney Spears. They sound theatrical and Broadway-esque. Now, the plot of the show, it's basically about um, storybook fairy tale characters wanting to kind of like break out of that um, fairy tale lifestyle. And they even critique a lot of the fairy tales and... Um, like princess movies that a lot of us grew up watching, which I really liked seeing that critique on stage. I won't say it was my favorite Broadway show ever. I feel like the potential was there, but I did like this. If you are a mega Britney Spears fan, I think you will enjoy it. Otherwise, I might um, direct you to a different show. Okay, Tilly had a vet appointment this morning. I think you saw those clips. She has been having issues with her eyes, just being really watery for a while now. And we have been to the vet about this three separate times. And at first they thought she had conjunctivitis. So we were doing like a topical antibiotic in her eyes, which let me tell you, she did not enjoy having to take that. Uh, that didn't go away. So we came back. They thought it was like a viral thing. So my vet actually prescribed probiotics. So now she takes probiotics. Tilly is a very extra cat. She has like a whole supplement regime, including probiotics and with that, I felt like her eyes, it just, I was still seeing some watering and I just, I get worried and I overthink like, what if it's this, what if it's that? So I brought her in again today and the vet basically said like, her eyes are fine. They, um, the vet looked in them to make sure there were no irritated spots, no swelling, no redness, like the actual eyes are healthy. She's great. Even the last time we were in, he tested her for ulcers in her eyes. He basically just said, it's like a human when their eyes water, when there's dust. But okay, this was her first time taking gabapentin before her appointment, which is like an anxiety medication kind of, it calms cats down. And she is what the vet's office likes to call a spicy kitty. She is the sweetest little angel at home, but when she's in a situation that she feels uncomfortable, she acts in a way a lot of cats do. And she's a sassy girl at the vet. So we were trying gabapentin this morning and her appointment was at nine or no, 9.30. So you're supposed to give it like two to three hours before. So at seven, I got up to try to give her the medication and it's oral. So I have to take a syringe and squirt it down her throat. It was so bad that I was like, okay, this would have been easier to just take her to the vet without trying to administer a gabapentin first because she did not like it at all. We had a, I couldn't even get her, get the full dosage in her mouth because it was like multiple times I'm like wrapping her up in blankets, trying not to get scratched. I'm covered in scratches. And even at the vet, she still wasn't as calm as we were hoping she would be, probably because I wasn't able to give her the full dosage. They did say though, they're like, she was definitely better today. She was not on her best behavior, but she was better. Okay, I'm getting ready to leave for the Grande event in a minute and I need to finalize my outfit. This event is to celebrate Grande Cosmetics 15 year anniversary. So a huge thank you again to Grande for partnering with me on today's video. I'm so excited to go to this event and to celebrate the anniversary, the party is kind of like a disco theme. So the invite said to wear sparkles or pink or something disco. And I don't really have sparkles, but my roommate is letting me borrow 
this, which is so fun. She thrifted it and it is like black with um, sparkle thread in it. It definitely fits the vibe. Like it literally has shoulder pads to it, but I'm not sure about the rest of my outfit. And I know this doesn't match. It kind of clashes, but I kind of like that. This is just like a patterned midi skirt because it's really cold today. It's like in the 50s. So I, I think ideally, I would wear this, maybe maybe I'll wear it with pants, but I, I picture it with a mini skirt, but I think it's gonna be too cold for that. So that's why I'm thinking the longer skirt. Okay, option one, we have the top and these leather pants. I feel like this is definitely the safer option. It's a little bit boring, I think. I mean, I guess it's not that boring. I'm wearing shoulder pads with like sparkles, but and disco ball earrings. But I was really picturing a skirt. I don't know, I'm not sold on the pants. Okay, here it is with the skirt. I I do like it, like I think it looks cute and flowy together, but I, it's, I don't know, it's not giving me the right vibe. And I'm actually starting to think the leather pants might be best just because it's so cold. I think if I wear this or even a different skirt, I'm, I think I'm gonna freeze because it's like 50 something, so let's go back to the leather pants okay yeah leather pants it is i think this is cute it's fun probably wear this black bag too i think that'll look cute with it this was on earth they gave these gave these to us when we were in charleston but i'm like do i keep the um disco ball earrings or are they too much i kind of want to go back to the hoops that i had on earlier okay back to the hoops i'm gonna put on some more jewelry and this is the outfit okay let's go Friday. I just got back from Pilates class and so I'm gonna reapply my sunscreen since I showered obviously. The event was so cute last night. I'm really excited that I got to like take you along with me and show you some of the clips and that I got to film that clip with Alicia. I hope you can hear the audio just because it was a little loud in there. I need to like look in a mirror while I'm doing this because I am like not blending this out properly. But everything about the event was so beautiful. It was really fun to celebrate their anniversary. They also sent us home with some products that I haven't tried yet. I've tried a lot of other things, but not everything. Excited to play with those. I think today actually since I I want to run out and grab like maybe a coffee or something in a minute here, but I don't really plan to do makeup right now. But I'm, as you can see, I don't really have eyebrows. I do, but they're they're very blonde. So let's take the brow gel from Grande. I've been using this one for a few months now. It's their two in one, and these are tinted. So I have the lightest shade, and then here, you can see I don't really have much eyebrow to begin with. That's why I like tinted brow gels because they deposit a little bit of color while also kind of shaping the brow a bit. I even put a little bit of this on before I left for my class this morning. And then, like I said, I did take a shower, so it did come off, but I like doing these. I like, I especially like wearing this when I'm not wearing any other makeup, just so I can have some eyebrows. Also, like their eyebrow serum is in this also, so. Okay, as a sparse eyebrow girly, there's something about just putting a little bit of a brow on that I feel so much better. <laughs> I, my Ulta haul came in, so I wanna share with you guys what I got at Ulta. I'm a little bit bummed because one of the things broke. I, I'm wanting to do a video about like best and worst of NYX. So there are a few things that I needed to try that I didn't own yet, so I ordered them and that's why this little mini Ulta haul has a couple of NYX products in it. But I'm also filming a video testing YouTubers favorites. So I asked like a few of my friends in this space what they, 
oops, what they recommend for me to try in that video. A lot of the product recommendations were also NYX. So I feel like I'm gonna be trying out a lot of NYX products in the next few weeks, but that's good because I wanna do that kind of like whole roundup video. But let me show you what I got at all the time. I'm so excited. Okay, this first one is a Lauren My Beauty Made Me Buy it product. This is from Ariana Grande's fragrance line. This is the perfume Vanilla Mod. No, Mod Vanilla. I just decluttered my perfume, so I did not need another one, but when we were in Charleston, Lauren was wearing this and every time like I would even get near her, it was the most delicious intoxicating scent that the day I got home, I ordered this. The packaging is a little bit weird. It's it's very cute, but it's it's bulky on my perfume tray. And I also feel like the lid is hard to get off and it's strange to apply. So I'm not sure about the packaging, but the scent is amazing. Also, this is a repurchase. This is from Peach Slices. This is their Azelaic Acid Serum. I love this stuff, use it constantly. It's really great for my acne. I feel like it really helps, especially like my forehead bumps, but it's also super gentle. Okay, what else? Oh, the broken product. I'm so sad. I might, I'll probably try to repress this. This is their Can't Stop. I'm gonna try to hold it up, sort of, without, I haven't opened it, so I don't think it's gonna spill yet, but I don't want anything to fall. But this is their Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder. I ordered the shade light. Ugh, I'm so bummed, but I need to go and get some rubbing alcohol to repress this. I don't think I have any on hand right now, but I actually, I can leave a video linked down below where I share how to repress a product. So if this ever happens to you, it's an easy fix. It's just a bummer, but what else? Oh, I bought a foundation. I know I'm not supposed to be buying foundations right now, but I really felt like I needed to try this one if I was going to do a best and worst of NYX. I'm like, this is such a popular product for them right now. I couldn't do the video without knowledge of this. So this is their blur, or Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I'm so unsure about the shade of this because I bought five vanilla, which I kind of thought the shade four was gonna be better for me, but it was sold out. And then when I was looking more into the shades, they seemed a little bit off. I considered getting shade three, but then when I was watching videos from people that wear shade three or like had purchased shade three, they were like, this is so much lighter than it looks like it would be. But even this now, like it looks like it might be too dark for me. If it is, I have a mixer, so I'm not too worried. I can I can save that. Okay, and then I got this for the brows. It is their Lift and Snatch. I bought the shade Taupe. I wanna start doing more like roundup videos like that. I've done them in the past. I've done Best and Worst of Elf, Best and Worst of Essence, but for my drugstore series, I really like doing those videos because I know the drugstore can be so overwhelming. So next on the list is going to be NYX. Hi. I think I missed it. <laughs> 